Knowledge is crucial in a survival situation. Your most important tool is your mind. And one of the ways to get your mindset correct is to be able to read really good books, books that pertain to survival and to making it, you know, in a crisis situation. You know, we've just seen a lot of natural disasters that have occurred over in the Midwest. And that's just first-hand experiences. We've seen it all along. Uh, we've been experiencing a lot of solar flares, solar storms. Uh, but also, there are a lot of rogue nations out there now that are starting to get nuclear weapons. And this could actually cause an EMP, which of course the solar storm could do as well, which would do away with all electronic devices. And um, that means your computer, not being able to access your computer to get online. And so I really recommend having a good library of books that you can reference back to and be able to read and get your mindset right. A couple of books that actually I've just been sent uh, by the authors, and they have turned out to be incredible books that I've added to my personal library. And the first one I want to mention is this little Prepper's Handbook. And this is by Zion Prepper. And this is a great beginner's handbook for prepping. And I'm going to tell you guys, now that Doomsday Preppers has come out, uh, people are getting more and more interested in prepping. They're starting to look, I mean, and there's a ton of different channels and things going on out there uh, where they're talking about survival, surviving on your own. This is a primer for learning how to, to just have some things prepared. And it really, even though it's a short book, there is a ton of information in here and some things that could really save your life if you enact some of these things. So I want to definitely recommend the Prepper's Handbook by Zion Prepper. And all these books that I'm going to talk about, I'll have a link below for you to find them. But uh, this is an incredible book, and I believe he's actually started. Now, this is Doom and Bloom, the Survival Medicine Handbook. And this is one thing a lot of times we overlook, is being able to perform uh, the basic uh, first aid and or even trauma and, or, you know, a lot of different things. Because if you're not able to get a medical attention, if you're in a crisis situation, you really need to be prepared to take care of that on your own. Um, my wife is an RN, and she went through this book completely, and she just went nuts. In fact, I had to actually get it from her uh, to do this video. But I had gone through it before, and she said this book is just an exceptional book. And this is it really helps you to become medically prepared. There's a whole section on how to get prepared for you know medical emergencies and then supplies to have how to treat infections uh, environmental factors which means you know how long you can be in hypothermia or you know overheating and a lot of just basic things like that just a wealth of information uh, it also goes into injuries it even has a section on how to suture so uh, chronic medical problems if you have high blood pressure diabetes here are some ways that you can treat just in case you cannot get medical attention, or if you're temporarily or permanently away from medical attention, this book is an excellent resource. And this is by Joseph. Now, this book is put out by a medical doctor, Joseph Alton, and he's an MD. His wife, Amy Alton, is a um, midwife. So they cover a lot of great things in this book that you would need in a tough situation, ways, alternative ways to be able to uh, to treat different things. So I highly recommend the Doom and Bloom Survival Medicine Handbook. Now, Patriots Surviving the Coming Economic Collapse, this book has been out for a long time. And John Re Wesley Rawls is an excellent author. And this is just a great book. This is a classic, really. In fact, he's come out with a new one called Survival and or Survivors. And I haven't read that one yet. But uh, that's one that's on my list to read. But this is a great book. In fact, I'm going to show you how what I really think about this book. <laughs> this thing is coming apart. I have read it like four times. Uh, I do now have a new copy of it. I just couldn't get my hands on it. But this is a great book. And uh, it really gets down to the nitty gritty on a lot of things. Now this book is one that will really change a lot of the way you think about a crisis situation. And this is Surviving the Economic Collapse by Fernando Ferfal Aguera and this is about the Argentine collapse down in 2001 when they had their financial collapse and what happened ensued during that period of time. This is an incredible read. There's a ton of information in this book and I'll have to say this book probably 
gave me a totally different perspective and mindset on surviving a, you know, a crisis type situation. I highly recommend. In fact, you can just put for foul, uh, you can Google that and get his information immediately. But great book, highly recommend it. And here we have Lights Out, another classic. This is by David Crawford. This has to do a lot with an EMP and just, it's huge and it's thick. But I'm going to tell you what, when you get to the end, you'll be wishing for more. This book is unbelievable. It just gets into the day-to-day, -day, but it also has a lot of action and a lot of things that will get you to thinking. But Lights Out, awesome read. Now this is just a sampling of the few of the books that I want to show you. I have done some reviews on earlier books, which one was One Second After by William Forston. Incredible book. In fact, William Forston is going to be at the Sensible Mountain Conference May 4th and 5th up in Black Mountain, North Carolina, which I'll be at that conference as well. But that book really will get you to thinking about a lot of things. And also the LDS Preparedness Manual is another one that's really incredible, a very uh, how-to and just a lot of information in there that's really critical. So those are just some books. Those I've done previous reviews on. But I'm going to tell you guys, if you don't have a library, you need to have some things put back. You need to have some first aid books put back and some things like that to be able to give you the mindset for survival. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic. This is by Joseph Alton, who is an MD, and his wife, Amy Alton, who is a... Um, There are a lot of books out there. This is just a, a sampling of a few. Uh, there's also One Second After by... Uh, and this is for Fowl, Fernando for Fowl Aguera. And this is Surviving the, Coming on, the 